Hello, everybody. Michael Babcock again here from Cartridge World and McKenna Outing. Um, I'm often asked uh, by many clients and consumers that are out there, they're always asking me, Mike, should I leave my printer on or should I leave my printer off? Um, I don't have the specifics in front of me, but what I can tell you is a printer left on and plugged into the wall doesn't use up a lot of power. Okay? So it's not like you're spending thousands of dollars annually by leaving a printer on or even multiple printers. Uh, most printers have a sleep mode in them. So when there's some inactivity, the printer will go into sleep mode. All right? Now, the interesting part of this is, is that I always recommend people leave their printers on. And if you ever notice, specifically if you have a color printer, you could be sitting there, you're not printing anything, but all of a sudden the printer starts running. It comes out of sleep mode. Well, with color printers, they need to periodically calibrate, all right, where the printer's actually talking to all the cartridges, it's talking to all the other warning, the, the wearing components that are in there, just understanding where it's at right now. The other downside of that is, is every time a, a, a printer recalibrates, or every time an inkjet printer is left on and just automatically starts to calibrate. Uh, in the inkjet, you're using up ink when it's doing that. Ink is a lubricant for print heads in an inkjet printer, where it's not necessarily a lubricant in a laser printer. But when a laser printer calibrates, it's readjusting these toner levels in the cartridges, and it's just checking to make sure the printer's running properly. Doesn't use a lot of toner. So would not notice it at the end of the day versus what you're printing on a daily, monthly, weekly basis. So a little bit of tip for everybody again in regards to leaving your printer on or off. I always highly recommend leave it on. So uh, one other thing I do want to mention to you, because it's uh, something else that's always asked, uh, about having your printer on automatic updates. I never recommend having that automatic updates. Uh, always be able to update it on a manual basis, whether you want to do it once a month or once a quarter. By having automatic updates, you're allowing the OEM, in this case the manufacturer, the printer, to make pr changes to your printer without your knowledge of what they're changing. So another little tip there for everybody in regards to that. So again, everybody, happy selling out there and, and go get them. I hope this helps. Thank you very much.